our world has never ever witnessed an energy crisis of this depth and of this complexity. We have two major objectives in the future. One of them is having secure energy, the other one have a clean energy. We are seeing now that the Russia cutting the energy exports to Europe has major implications. So therefore, we better had a different way of getting our energy, not from one single country, not from one single trade route, and not from one single company. What we are seeing today is that the current global energy crisis is, an, in fact, an accelerator for clean energy transitions. In the past, these clean energy technologies were driven mainly because of climate change reasons. Now, energy security is a very important driver. For example, last year, we have seen the growth of renewables. It was record high. Efficiency of energy improvement was, again, a very impressive. A strong nuclear power come back. So the more we have homegrown energy sources, the better. The lasting solutions to the energy security we have now goes through clean energy technologies. There is a new industrial age, the manufacturing, batteries, solar panels, electric cars, nuclear power, energy efficiency, heat pumps, or hydrogen energy. All of them are flourishing around the world. United States came up with a major package of Inflation Reduction Act. The Europe is giving a similar response to that, Japan, India, China. So as a result of that, we are only going to see the acceleration of clean energy technologies. The question is whether or not the pace will be enough to reach our climate targets. For the time being, I think we are behind our goals. And the important thing is here, uh, the governments take the necessary steps that they are also at the same time affordable. Investors, when they make investment, most of them, the first thing they look at is whether or not they get enough returns, whether or not they have a predictability of the projects. So governments need to make the necessary arrangements so that the investing in clean energy is a predictable business and at the same time it provides lucrative returns. And I see that many governments are doing it now more and more. Moving from the fossil fuel based energy system to a cleaner energy system, we are going to have an energy system based on critical minerals such as lithium, such as cobalt and others. And here, like in oil and gas, the better is that we have a diversification of the sources who possess them.